For the important qualities of a leader, um, I always remember from one of my classes, like one of the things that stood out to me that I would, I would never word it this way, but it's, it was need for occupational achievement. So basically, you wanting to make sure Trop is the best. Like with like your drive and everything, like it's definitely contagious. And like if you aren't, it's, it goes with leading by example. Like if you're not wanting to be the best, then how do you expect your staff to be? And then the first thing I always think about when I think of lead by example, and I always use this as my example, is if you're doing P90S and Tony Horton's up there sitting in his chair <laughs> telling you to do things, and he's not doing anything, and it's like, I. I do it. You know, like, think of it, like, it's, yeah, that's just the example I was thinking of. I always get mad when he's, like, walking around talking to people. I'm like, you're not you're doing it. You're <laughs> taking <laughs> away. And, and that's the best part about this job is, like, there are so many, like, different aspects of it, but in the end, we have, and I think that's what's why I get so excited because I know that next year, like, we're going to be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Cobb and um, and it also makes me sad because like I had, to, I had to let like these guys go. But the best part about it, and McKinley saw a little side of it. Like he was in the office with me, and I had a little meltdown, and he was like, "I can't do this yet." Like, I can't do this yet. and it's true. Like you have to grow into the relationship that we have as RDs, and that's why you do do summer crew together, and why. You do, <laughs> and that's why you, you know, do these trainings and and have so many meetings, and you get to then find like when you look at each other, when someone says something, you get to laugh, just like snicker to yourself, or um, when they can correct me, and I don't care because I know that they're just caring for me and wanting to make me a better speaker. <laughs> and I love that about this job and about being an ID. And I want you, if, if I'm not doing something that you guys need, I'm not a mind reader either. I need you to let me know. Because I essentially am doing this job because I love helping people. And I want to see you guys succeed. And I will stay in the office till 9 at night if I have to, um, to do what I need to do to make your jobs a little easier and to help you in any way that you need, you need help. And if you need to come over to my apartment and you just like, I need to vent, I just need to get away. And okay, I'll make you a cup of tea or a cappuccino and I mean just, and, well, that might be pushing it, but <laughs> a, <what? laughs> a sleepover <laughs> <laughs> on my couch. <laughs> but, but if I'm not doing something that you guys need or if I handle a situation that you don't like how I handled it, I, I want yes, I want to hear it in a respectful way, but I'm also going to listen to you because I did something and I might have an ex and I guarantee I'm not gonna say I might I guarantee I'll have an explanation to why I did it that way and maybe it came out differently, okay? Because that happens with me. I'm aware of that. Um, there's some ways that I approach situations. And I hear it and think I'm doing it one way and it comes out a little different. But I have you guys there to say, mm, you might have been a little too too harsh. And there might be, and a lot of times with that, there's background information that you guys don't know, which is why I reacted that way. Um, maybe Dave was on my back about something with that and it just pushed it to the edge. Um, but you don't know that, and it's not your fault that Dave was on my back. It's my fault, and I shouldn't have taken out. But please don't be afraid to come to me and say, uh, this hurt my feelings, or I didn't agree with this, and I'll definitely sit there and talk through it with you. Okay? Any last comments? Good. All right, everybody say bye, Cobb. Thank you. That was so weird.